Walsh here, and today I'm going to show you preventive measures to be kept offline for long periods of time from people that are maliciously using your IP address and attacking you or DDoSing you. So I'll just get kind of right into it after I first give this disclaimer. So first off, this is just what's worked for me. I've had a friend show me how to do this, and I'm going to show you a couple equipment options and also show you personally how I do it right on my current setup. So I'll just switch over to my PC and along with the webcam screen. Generally to log into your router, it's going to be the address 192.168.1.1. You're going to want to consult your exact router manual or guide and find out exactly what it is. And for the most part, if you've never configured it before, it'll login will be like admin slash admin or else admin and password will be just password, something to that effect. Um, let me... I have my password co copy right over here. One second. And paste. There we go. So log in. And I'm going to kind of breeze through going through my exact firewall. So I had this firewall first uh, set up for me from a friend who's a uh, network slash system admin. And my first goal was to be able to be prevented from getting hit offline, period and that proved to be impossible um, or at least with my resources impossible so what I'm still able to do with this router slash firewall is easily change my MAC address which in turn changed my IP address so let me just show you right off the bat I'm gonna have a few of these things blurred out because I'm not sure if it can be malicious if someone has my MAC address range and certain things below so I just have a few different pieces of information blown, uh, blurred out here but uh, first I'll go over to Ethernet. And as you can see right here, this is the IP address that I have when I connect online. So let me just show you. I can go to www.whatismyip.com. And as you can see, the 76.122.171.245 is the exact same as it shows right here. So this is my internet connection. I'm going to go to advanced settings. And down below, with this and there's many other routers out there that this will work with you can change your MAC address and so what this does is when I change the MAC address and show it as something different when the modem reconnects to my router it's going to treat it as a brand new device and give me a brand new IP address now this is important for reasons I'll explain here in a second so what I'll just show you first off is I'm going to just change this to 2B instead and hit OK It'll take a second to load. So as soon as this is done, you see I do not have an IP address currently. What I'm going to quick do is unplug and replug in my modem. So I have this kind of off screen right now, but I just unplugged it. I'll leave this for about 10 seconds. And I'm going to plug this back in. Now what I'm waiting for currently is let me move my uh, little webcam is I'm gonna wait till this shows like it's refreshed and that I actually have a brand new internet connection rather than uh, it'll possibly show like a yellow shield and show that I there must be something wrong with my connection to the internet but in the meantime so I want to show you a couple of these guides that I have linked below in the description that you can look into that will explain this much more in depth than I can and that are very pretty in-depth guide. So first off, there's one on Destiny's page, who is a, a famous streamer for StarCraft and League of Legends, and I have this link below, but he talks about how people can get your IP address, and there's multiple ways. So for us in Xbox, um, the methods I know of is either A, getting matched in a party with you, or being in a lobby with you, being in a private chat with you, being in a party chat with you. All those different ways someone can get your IP address from if they know what they're doing. Same method, Skype is a very, very scary program for the fact that even if someone's not on your friends list, if they know what your Skype is, they can get your IP from it. Even if you are online, they can find out the last IP that you logged into Skype from, to my knowledge. So that is um, pretty frightening. Um, and this DDoS prevention guide from a guy named Matt Gunnan, he runs Legapedia. He um, he explains this much better than I can because, like he says right here, he's a 27-year-old system admin for Rackspace Hosting. And he goes through 
explain what DDoS attack is and his preventive measures. And it's a little bit slightly different though, given that they're on just a PC, whereas we have an Xbox and a PC to worry about. So um, as you can see right here, I'm gonna go back to showing that my IP has changed. First off, you see uh, that yellow shield's away. This is on. And so previously, my IP was 76.122.171.245. Now let me do this again. What is my IP.com? And what do you know? 76.122.173.37. So slightly different. And that's what's important is because a person cannot in my experiences, keep you offline unless they have your IP address. So what they're going to have to do now at this point is get your IP address again if they want to keep you offline. They would have to, all the methods I said below through Xbox, or if you're somehow still signed in Skype and left that on since you've signed in with this new IP address, that's how they would get your information. So now that I've covered how changing the IP address works, let me show you a couple different um, pieces of equipment that you can do this with. First off, Many of you out there, just like myself, have probably had a Comcast, for example, I use Comcast, but I had a Comcast road, uh, router slash modem all in one, so it had like four ports come out of there and did everything for me. I didn't need a modem and a router. This does not work because, to put it simply, Comcast does not give you the exact same options, along with many other service providers out there that give you a modem slash router combo. They don't give you the option to go too far into your router to change options such as MAC address. It gives you a static IP address which means even if you have a firewall or something past that, you still can't change the IP address because it's assigned right to that modem slash router and then it's go, it goes out to your Xbox and computer. So what the best option to do in a lot of cases is first off, many people pay 7 or 8 bucks a month for those routers, router slash modem combos from the company. You can just buy uh, this modem right here, for example, Surfboard 6121, which is what I have, and it works just fine. And you don't have to pay your monthly fee anymore. And what this does is it's going to just have the internet go through it, and then it's going to let your router decide or take the MAC address from your computer or router to get the IP address for you. And I'm going to show you just a pretty cheap router that I know 100% for sure you can change the MAC address on here. And this is um, the D-Link DIR615. I've used this one before. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me anymore. Else, I was shown the direct example using this alone. But um, all I know is right in the login page, right off the very bat, there's something called manual internet connection. You just click that, and you can change your MAC address, like I said. And a couple other tips to go along with this. Um, I guess first off, I'll talk about this router for a second. It has a pretty bad rating, and... Um, I can't personally vouch for it too much because I've only used it a little bit. I was able to change my IP just fine. And reading the reviews below, it says that some people had problems with earlier versions. I've also read some five-star reviews saying that if you upgrade the firmware, it ends up being just fine. So I had no issues with it. I can't 100% vouch for this router unless uh, D-Link wants to send me a sponsorship or something. But <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's an option. It, Fairly cheap options you can see right here on Amazon, only $33. And yeah, it, it gets the job done. So one thing I want to throw out there with changing your MAC address is, if you noticed, when I changed it, I changed in the last column. There's, you know, six, um, six combinations of letters and numbers for a total of 12 uh, characters. And I changed in the last column because... It's similar to an IP address. If you notice when my IP address changed, the first couple uh, numbers didn't change, like the 76.122, meaning, you know, like from my understanding, I believe that's like a class one or class two IP address. Um, basically, it's kind of a, on a lower level. Basically, it's hard for me to explain because I don't fully understand it myself, but all I know is that many cases, those other MAC addresses would be taken if you were to change one of the earlier numbers. And earlier letters in the combination. So stick to the sixth, um, the sixth row or combination of letter and number. Change that, and you should be fine. So once again, I'll have all this stuff linked below. Um, I gave you a couple links to different products that work. I mean, fairly reasonable priced, and you should be able to get these set up with almost any cable 
internet service provider. And at the same time, for those who already do have a just a modem by itself and a router, or even you might have a modem router combo through your internet service provider, still go in and check and see if you can change the MAC address because that's what's going to be able to allow you to change your IP and you can unplug, replug it back in and you can test out the same methods I gave you such as what is myip.com. So in short, I hope this helps. I've gotten a lot of people that have asked me about this, especially with streaming because it's such a big deal that you get hit offline. Like this is a way a lot of us make our money and make our living. And I just want to let people know out there how I've been able to get around it. Um, how I've been able to, you know, if I get offline, I'm just back on within a few minutes and it's, you know, no big deal. And at the same time, people have also told me that even if they're not a streamer, some people just hit them offline and keep them offline all night. So this is a good preventive measure so that someone hits you offline, you get matched up against uh, someone who knows how to do this. You can at least switch your IP address and still game all night long. So hopefully this is very helpful. Leave your comments below, let me know what you think. And... I think uh, also in the comments below, I guess it wouldn't hurt to have great product reviews because, like I said, I only gave a couple that I knew would work, and I, you know, I strongly suggest sticking to just a modem and a router rather than a modem slash router combination because uh, I've had no success with those. So let me know what you think below, and hopefully this is helpful. Thank you for watching.